Hi Petals, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Aura and I really hope that you are doing well today. So my loves, before we start this wonderful pick a card reading today, I just want to give a huge thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to everyone who likes and comments on my readings. I really truly appreciate you. You are helping out the channel like you wouldn't believe and helping to get these messages out to people who really need to hear them and to those who are really looking for guidance right now. So thank you, you are making a huge difference and I appreciate you endlessly. So my loves, today we do have have a pick a card reading and this is for messages of love from your spirit team so I will be channeling through and bringing through messages from your spirit team of guides angels ancestors animals elementals whoever it is that is on your team that wants to come through today we will be bring, bringing through messages of guidance for you messages of love and we will be finding out what they love so much about you and what they are helping you with at this point in time as well. So today we have three piles to choose from. The first pile we have this wonderful malachite crystal. Okay, for pile number two we have this beautiful carnelian crystal. For pile number three, we have this gorgeous skin agate crystal. The patterns are just really mesmerizing. Okay, so please pick a pile that you feel most intuitively drawn to. You may pick more than one pile. This just means that there are messages spread throughout these piles for you today. If you need more time to pick your pile, please just pause this reading and then scroll down in the comment section or the description box and click on the timestamp for your reading and that will take you right to your reading today my loves so i'm really excited for this one let's get started with pile one hi pile one if you chose this wonderful malachite crystal this is your reading today for messages of love from your spirit team so i have pulled some oracle cards for you off camera for messages of love from your spirit team we're going to put those to one side for the moment and we're going to get into your tarot cards first to bring through any messages that your angels your guides ancestors might have for you right now when i was tapping into your energy pile one before i hit record on this reading for you i was shown a bunch of red roses okay so either um, some of you have received some red roses recently as a gift or you will be doing so. Um, other than that, I did hear a message that came through that said stop and smell the roses. So I feel like if you haven't received a gift of roses recently, then a message coming through for you, I feel is to maybe slow down a little bit, take some time out. Um, really, your guys are really wanting you to um, take note of a blessing around you that you might not be seeing at this point in time. Um, I feel like they're wanting to bring some sort of gift through to you. Um, but it's going to take you to be able to slow down um, and unbusy yourself in order for you to really truly see it or appreciate it. So that's a message for some of you out there. Um, but spirit guides, let's bring through some messages for pile one. What do their spirit team want to say to them right now, please? Okay. Oh, wonderful. Six of fire, victory. Good news is on its way. Public recognition at all awards. Amazing. We love to see that. What other messages? Compile one from their spirit team, please. What do they want to say to them right now? Thank you. 
we have Queen of Water that says tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. Wonderful. Pile one, please. Messages from the spirit team. Pile one, please. Thank you. Page of Earth that says scholarly, dependable, patient, successful, good news about financial matters, wanting to study, wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. Oh my gosh, pile one. Things are looking great for you right now. Things are looking up. We also have Queen of Fire on the bottom of the deck. Confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. Whoa, your guys are coming through strong. Really loving today. One final message for part one, please. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Wow. Incredible. The sun card. Happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. Oh my gosh, pile one, this is powerful. Your guides are really coming through strong here, your spirit team. This is insane, I'm so happy for you. We do have on the bottom of the deck, 10 of fire, too much work, accept help from others, life is out of balance, stress related health concerns. Okay, so this is a really strong message coming through pile one from your spirit team. They're really wanting you to release any worry that you might be having, okay? Um, or stop pushing yourself too hard, okay? I feel like some of you might be worrying and pushing yourself because you feel like you have to really push and strive um, to achieve something here, okay? Um, you're wanting to achieve something, I feel. Um, you've been working hard at something, okay, pile one, and your guides are telling you that this outcome is assured, okay? Whatever it is that you are have been working towards, whatever it is that you've been putting time and dedication into, whatever it is that you have been studying for, learning for, um, taking steps towards something, your guides are saying the outcome is going to be really positive here with the sun card. You are going to be victorious with this. You are going to get success. You are going to achieve and you are going to be recognized for this achievement as well from others. So for some of you, um, this could be within the workplace. Um, you're gonna be getting recognized for achievements. Some of you will be receiving awards. Um, like I'm hearing employer of the month, employer of the year, um, the, the top person in a project. Um, for some of you, you're going to be getting recognised in a wider area, in your community, um, online, on your social media for something. Um, I feel like some of you are kind of like influ influencer energy, okay? So you are looked up to by a lot of people. Um, people really love your warm, um, empathetic, um, empathic, loving heart, okay? You, you are someone who has been putting into a, a lot of patience with something. Um, and I feel like you've really been tested as well. I feel like the universe has really been testing you, Pile One, um, for over a long period of time. Um, and it might feel like an uphill struggle for you. Like, um, when is it going to pay off? But your spirit guides are saying you're you are so close. Okay, if this hap hasn't happened for you already, you are so close. I feel like some of you have recently had a little taster of this, a little taster of victory, um, because your guides didn't want you to give up. They wanted you to have a little boost of something. So this could have been a post going viral or a post receiving more recognition than you have received before um something like that um or someone congratulating you that you really admire and you really look up to um your guides are being going to be giving you a gift like that if they haven't already just to give you a little taster like i said so that you don't give up um because the outcome here is so favorable for you pile one this is really truly incredible but just remember um, to give yourself a break, okay? Let yourself relax because whatever it is that's coming through for you, um, 
it is going to happen so just take your foot off the gas a little bit off off the pedal um, and just like go into cruise cruise control I'm hearing like cruise control mode on your car um, where the car just kind of just keeps driving at that speed for you okay your spirit guys are really wanting to help take the wheel I'm hearing um, let them let them steer the way the way that it's supposed to go try not to hold on too rigidly I'm hearing try not to hold on too tight to something um, because you don't want to force it off its course okay um, but yeah wow this this is really powerful um, so we're gonna find out a card here from the whispers of love Oracle card to find out what your spirit team love so much about you now a little disclaimer here our spirit team do love everything about us so what is seemingly positive and seemingly negative um they love every every aspect of us um and yeah whatever our flaws our imperfections um our perfections our our positives our negatives whatever it is they love everything about us but we're going to bring through something that they uh, really love so much about you that they want to bring through today. So, spirit guides of pile one, what do you love so much about them? What message would you like to bring through? What do you love so much about them? Spirit guides of pile one, what do you love so much about them, please? What do you love so much about them, spirit guides for pile one? Thank you. Oh, we have I love you. These are powerful words. Oh my gosh. Wow, pile one. This is incredible. I, I'm actually getting shivers right now, like tingles. This is this is so powerful. Your spirit team are literally saying that they love you, okay? That is that is just a message that's coming through so strongly. But also as well as as well as them saying that they love you what they love so much about you pile one is your heart okay it makes so much sense here with this queen of water tender hearted it says on this card you have such a soft heart and that's not to say that you are soft or um you know naive that's not what i mean i mean you are just so pure there's something pure and and so beautiful about you um, and about your heart that's just so um tender and your spirit guides are really wanting to congratulate you and celebrate you for that celebrate the your ability to love you know um things have not been easy for you and along the way you've had people that have really hurt you upset you broken your heart okay because it is such it is such a tender heart that you have you're so giving so loving um and you have always bounced back and you've always given love to people and your spirit team are wanting to congratulate you for that and praise you for that um and they want you to know that you know that is something that they really love about you wow that is so gorgeous i absolutely love this pile one so let's get into your oracle cards that i did shuffle off camera for you i haven't yet seen these we're going to explore these together so these are messages of love from your spirit team so your first card we have here seraphim seraphiel tune in to the divine will open to higher illumination okay we have sage, be devoted and committed. Yeah, you are very de devoted and very committed, pile one. We have autumn, release the old and rest. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And we have kangaroo, be a force for good. Archangels, Rokriel, Gassisa and Sandalfon are coming through for you today. Beautiful. So your guides, your spirit team really want to highlight to you, Pile One, how in tune you are with things that are around you. I feel like you're very in tune to the cosmos as well. Um, some of you might meditate. Um, and for those of you that do you will know what i mean you're able to when you meditate really tune into 
the the energies that are around you and being shown lots lots of colors as well so when you um, close your eyes you see the energy and the aura of your guardian angels and your spirit guides um, and they want you to know that that's what it is when you are seeing colors when you meditate that's what it is it's your guides energy all around you um, like enveloping you with with love and their protection and for those of you who don't yet meditate your spirit team are asking you to try and make some time to do that okay try and make some time to to yourself to um to do some meditation i feel like for some of you these style of meditations will be different it's really finding something that works for you we are all different so i personally love guided meditations so for some of you you could try guided meditations but i'm also being drawn to getting outdoors as well because i'm seeing this sage card here and this person just sitting up next to a tree under underneath these leaves here so for some of you getting outdoors is a form of meditation doing something that you really love maybe you enjoy doing a craft um, some sort of craft work something with your hands um, something to use your utilize your creativity and, and your passions um, and getting that out there in a really positive way that's also a form of meditation as well and you will find that when you're doing that you might get some inspired ideas and these are essentially divine downloads from your spirit team who are wanting to communicate things to you um, in order to put you um, on certain paths or um, kind of bring you bring you knowledge that is going to help expand you in some way but your spirit team are saying here with this sage card be devoted and committed that they are applauding you for your commitment for your devotion to like i was saying at the beginning you've been really working hard at something here this is going to be different for all of you um I'm feeling for a lot of you it's to do with your career and um, for some of you it's for your relationships, um, your love interests, um, things that are centred around your heart. I feel like a heart is a big uh, centrepiece of this whole reading here. So whatever it is that you love, whatever it is that means a lot to you, um, you are incredibly committed to that and devoted to that and your spirit guides are really really wanting to give you a big hug for that they're telling me right now um this is so nice um i'm smiling as i'm saying this i don't know if you can tell but this is just such a beautiful reading i'm, I'm really like i'm so thankful i just want to say thank you to the spirit guides that are here right now angels this is just incredible um i feel this energy it's just so beautiful um, and then we've got this autumn card here and I'm being told for some of you your your kind of like um, animal guide might be a bird okay for so you might see a crow or a raven that just appears quite often um, and that is a loved one of yours okay coming through oh my gosh I just looked out the window and I saw a raven like oh my god <laughs> I have trees outside my window and I just saw like I can't tell if it was a crow or a raven but it just flew right past the window as I said that the energy in this reading, guys, I can't. This is just incredible. <laughs> um, wow, this is insane. I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, your and also your guides, um, your spirit team are really wanting you to get some rest right now, which makes so much sense with this ten of fire that we saw here. This ten of wands energy. Um, there's something that you are being asked to release, okay? I feel for some of you, a small amount of you, you have just actually released something already. You have already closed the door on something and your spirit guides are congratulating you, okay? Because this was a big thing for you. This was something that um, I'm hearing that you propped yourself up on for a while now, something that you um kind of really clung to um but it wasn't serving you anymore okay and for others of you there is something like this in your life and your your spirit team are wanting you to release that okay the the leaves um all if you see here they're drawing me to the green leaves here and then the leaves have gone orange here so the leaves die they go orange brown they fall off the tree and then it regrows again okay it re-sprouts um and they rebloom and flowers grow again um, and that is what's needing to happen and is going to happen and is in the process of happening for you and um, so for whatever it is that 
um, you need to release your guides are saying it's safe for you to do so, okay? Take some rest, take some time out. Um, you are truly, really an energy here um, that brings so much love and sun and it's interesting how this looks to me like a sun and it's underneath the sun card so you are such a bright light and energy in people's lives the people around you um you bring so much love warmth joy um happiness to the people around you and it's almost like your energy makes people want to jump for joy um i'm being drawn to the kangaroos there the kangaroos jumping and leaping okay um and your spirit guys want you to have more fun as well i'm hearing um, so if you feel like you might have got stuck in a rut um, or stuck in some sort of like um, stagnancy or anything like that, have some fun. Whatever it is that you've been working towards, bring more fun into the situation because I feel like that's going to help move it along as well for you. Um, wow, these are beautiful messages. Let's get some messages from the healing with the angels cards to find out what it is that your guides are helping you with right now your spirit team what are they helping you with right now what are you helping pile one with right now please wow we have we have intention so they're helping you to set intentions okay and to really go for what it is that you truly want pile one um they're really helping you to stay focused um because yeah like i was saying this hasn't been easy um and this hasn't been i feel like it's been quite a slow process whatever it is that you have been aiming towards um and your spirit team have really been helping you to stay focused and stay focused on your intentions and what it is that you want to achieve. What was I saying? We have playfulness, yes. Your spirit team are helping you with playfulness, with having more fun, with enjoying the journey I'm hearing. We have guardian angel. They are helping to protect you, okay? You are protected, you are safe, pile one, to go for whatever it is. Um, I feel like, yeah, if you have been having moments of fear or doubt or doubting whether you are capable of, of something or um, if you are worthy enough, if you are strong enough, your spirit team are saying, yes, you are. Um, they are here helping you with that. They are here helping to protect you so you don't need to feel, um, you don't need to feel fearful, I'm hearing. We have dreams, okay, so your spirit team are communicating with you via your dreams so it might be worth you having a dream journal i'm hearing writing down any symbols any um, animals as well that come through in your dreams really taking note of that and then doing some research of the symbolism and the meaning behind these messages we have so much symbols and symbolism that come through our dreams and a lot of the time we don't always pay attention to them we don't see them as significant but our 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 spirit team love to communicate to us in our dream state and pile one your spirit team are coming through strongly with this okay we also have balance at the bottom of the deck so your spirit team are helping you bring something into balance here i feel like this angel here is holding some sort of sphere some sort of globe um, and there's something you are holding on to, um, something that you have been working on. Um, and I'm hearing your, your team is saying that this is protected, okay? This is safe. You don't need to worry about it. You can let go. You can just allow things to be, um, bringing things back into balance here, not working too hard, okay? absolutely beautiful there these are gorgeous messages pile one we're just going to finish off your reading with a final um, message of love from your spirit team what do they want to say to you right now can we have one more final message of love for pile one please message of love for pile one please thank you we're going to go for that one because that one flipped over 
So that says, be a natural beauty. Okay, let's read what that says. Your entire body is precious. So choose personal care products that reflect your consciousness and commitment to self-love. Say no to toxins and yes to the healthiest ingredients possible. You deserve to look and feel great and you are worth the effort. Be a natural beauty. Okay, that's gorgeous. So your spirit team are wanting you to give yourself a bit of TLC right now, a bit of extra love, a bit of extra attention and I feel like you might be someone who buys really nice gifts for other people and you might think oh I would love it if someone bought this for me but you don't buy it for yourself and your your team are saying buy it for yourself, get it for yourself okay, you deserve those nice moisturizers, the nice makeup foundation, um, the nice aftershave, um, the nice shaving products, you know, whatever it is that, you know, works for you in terms of your self-care and um, beauty routine, whether you're masculine, feminine, it really doesn't matter. Take it how it resonates. Your team are really wanting you to put that extra attention and love into yourself that you give to everyone else, okay? Wow, Pile One, these were such beautiful messages today. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Please give this reading a big thumbs up. It truly helps out the channel hit subscribe and the bell icon if you want to be notified of future readings thank you so much for your support you are truly appreciated take care of your lovely selves and we'll see you in our next reading bye hi pile two welcome to your reading if you chose this beautiful carnelian crystal this is your reading today for messages of love from your spirit team. So pile two, your spirit team are basically your guides, your angels, any ancestors, animals, elementals, whoever it is that is on your team, I will be bringing and channeling through messages from them for you today. So we will be bringing through anything that they wanna tell you right now, any guidance, messages of love we will be finding out what they love so much about you and yeah just bringing through some general messages for you what they are helping you with right now as well also so i have shuffled some oracle cards for you off camera pile two which i have not seen yet we are going to discover them together a little bit later but we are going to get stuck in first and foremost with some tarot messages for you pile two so welcome your spirit team into this space pile two what it is what is it that they want to say to you right now what messages do they want to bring through for you pile two from your spirit team messages for pile two please from their spirit team messages for pile two please from their spirit team what do you want to say to them what messages do you have for them right now, please? What messages do you have for Pile 2? Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. This is so interesting. Pile 1 got this as well. We've got Six of Fire. Victory, good news is on its way. Public recognition or rewards. That's incredible. I can't believe that's come out twice. <laughs> I've shuffled these cards completely um, and cleansed the space as well. We then have the star. Wow, incredible. So we have Archangel Jophiel that's coming through here. Happy times. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. Amazing. Before I forget pile two, I almost forgot. I do truly apologize for this. But when I was tapping into your energy um, as I was setting up your reading before I hit record, um, my guys didn't, did bring through a vision for me for you and it was of cardboard boxes, okay? Completely random, but I feel like it's saying, um, because I heard the word, the word moving, okay? So um, I feel like some of you are literally packing up boxes. Some of you might be moving home um, or even moving jobs. You know, when you move a job and you pack all your stuff from your desk into a box um, and moving on to something else, it feels like that sort of energy. Um, so take that how it resonates. Um, that could have been something that you have experienced recently, um, previously, or something that is is coming for you as well. You know, this this 
the energy of moving, moving something, moving a place, okay, um, packing up, or could even be removing things as well, like packing up things that you don't longer don't need anymore, moving on from something, um, putting things into a box and giving it to charity. Um, things that you don't need anymore, cleansing, decluttering, something like that. Um, my spirit guys wanted to remind me to tell you that because I completely forgot. <laughs> um, what do we have for pile two, please, from their spirit team? What messages? Let's elaborate on these messages, please. Pile two. Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, what did I just say? The chariot, we have Archangel Metatron, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. Wow, so we've got two cards here with public recognition, but the chariot card is a card of movement. It's, it's going places, okay? And it's like, it's almost like you're packing your suitcase, putting it into your car and moving on somewhere, okay? This is why my spirit guides were like, tell them about the cardboard box. <laughs> Um, one more card, please. Seven of air. Okay. Plans that need revision. More going on than meets the eye and poor timing. Interesting. We have on the bottom of the deck, page of fire. Outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous. News of an exciting new endeavour. Use your originality and ingenuity. Ingenuity. Okay. Yeah, so it's almost like you're going to get some sort of news of something and you're going to be moving on into something um, something new and exciting um, because it says here, news of an exciting new endeavour. Um, so it's like, yeah, it's almost like you're going to be packing up and moving on to something and I feel like this is definitely something that's going to be really positive for you. Can we get a clarifier for the Seven of Air, please? Why is the Seven of Air here? I've got an idea of what this is talking about, but let's clarify. What is the seven of air here? Thank you. Yeah, dreamer here. Archangel Metatron is coming through for you. Leap A leap of faith, follow your dreams. Unexpected opportunities, yeah. There's something you're not seeing here, okay? And I, I'm getting this message coming through pile two that there's something you're not seeing that your guides and spirit team are trying to alert you to. Um, but I feel like you might be so solidly stuck on something or an idea or a way that something is going to happen. And your team is coming through saying, you're going to get there, okay? You're going to get this recognition that you have been working hard towards, that you have been craving. This wish this wish fulfillment here with the star card and this moving with the chariot, okay? You are going to get there, but I feel like it's gonna be in a way that you didn't expect, okay? Your guides are saying, we're just gonna have a little twist and turn here, okay? Um, and you need to release being so rigid and stuck with something, I feel. Um, yeah, I think there's something here that you need to pay attention to, okay? We have here on the bottom of the deck, Ace of Earth, which is the Ace of Pentacles. That says, an inf the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. Yeah, there's, there's definitely going to be a, a new start in something here that your spirit team are um, coming through with today, especially with this the Dreamer card here. Um, this is the first card of the Tarot, the first card of the Major Arcana. Um, feel like you're going to be going on a new journey here and I feel like your team are wanting you to release um, any expectations that you might have about something. This could be a relationship, it could be a job, um, a side hustle, a business. Um, take it however it resonates um, but try um, not to cling on too much about the hows, the whys, um, the where, um, and just like let it happen, I'm hearing. Okay, so we're going to get a message from the Whispers of Love Oracle for you, Pile 2, to find out what your spirit team love about you so much. Now, as with Pile 1, I did give a little disclaimer that our spirit team love absolutely everything about us. They love our seemingly positive and seemingly negative aspects. Um, they truly love every part of what makes us us and what makes you you. So we're just going to bring through what they what's one of the things that they love about you. Um, what's one of the biggest things that they love about you? 
let's find out. They're saying one more shuffle. Thank you. Let's see. What do you love so much about pile two, please? What do you love so much about pile two? Thank you. We have here number 18. I've they told me to tell you number 18 that might be significant or the number nine might be significant for you. Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. Okay, so what they love about you the most um, is how you are able to transmute your emotions, I'm hearing. You're able to take your emotions and feel them accept them, allow them and love them and turn them into something positive. I feel like you do a lot of your growth through your emotions. Um, you might have water placement, strong water placements in your chart um, because I'm being drawn to the water here and the star card as well. Um, so they love how you're able to turn um, negative things into positive and i'm not saying that emotions are negative by any means what i mean by that is sadness you know tears and um, grief sadness um because i'm being shown to someone crying okay um something that's hurt you pain painful emotions like that um you're able to transmute them and turn them into blessings, okay, ultimately, um, into your triumphs and your victories. You're able to get back up and start again. Um, even if you have to start from scratch, you are so um, determined. You have such strong self-discipline here with this chariot card and willpower to get back on the horse and to keep going. And your spirit team really love that about you. That's gorgeous, okay. Okay, so let's get into these oracle cards that I did pull for you off camera and see what messages want to come through. So we have Archangel Sandalphon. Tune into your divine potential. Bring the world into harmony. Wow. So I'm hearing some of you might have strong musical influences. You might play an instrument or be really gifted um, with something within the music. music. Um, you might love to listen to music and I feel like you receive a lot of messages from music as well, lyrics um, and the emotions and feelings that you get from listening to music. We have Badger, bring your life into balance, Archangels Mary and Sandalphon. Okay, so Sandalphon has come through for you twice. So I feel like Sandalphon is a, an angel, an energy that is around you strongly. Um, so some of you might already be aware of this and, and work with Archangel Sandalphon. And for others of you, it might be an angel that you might wanna look into um, and look into connecting with um, consciously um, in, in, active, in meditations or in just your general day to day. Um, okay, let's move on. We have here, stag, trust and thrive. Wow. Yes, it's like I was saying, you know, try not to hold on to some to so much to something about how something is going to happen just trust that it will because your spirit guides your team are saying that we then have lady enjoy growth and reap rewards yes wow amazing so enjoy the process okay enjoy the journey here with this chariot card you are going on a journey as well with the full card as well it's 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 known as the fool's journey okay so the fool's or the dreamer in this in this card here starts at zero in the tarot and um, traditionally it does and then it moves on throughout the major arcana so I feel like you're going on some sort of journey um, and your spirit team are really wanting you to enjoy it um, because it's going to it's going to bring you so much fruit it's going to be so fruitful for you it's going to it's going to ripen for you I feel like you've been tending to something tending to tending to your crops I'm hearing in some way, putting time and love into something and it is growing and I feel like the harvest is just around the corner for you if you haven't started to see this already. Um, 
but yeah your guides are really wanting you to um to plan as well make solid plans for your future um put things into structure on hearing as well um so make sure that you have a good idea and intention of where it is that you want to go. Try not to confuse yourself with any outside noise here, any other people's opinions, anyone who might be wanting to try and knock you off your path. I feel like your spirit team are really protecting you from these energies. Anyone who might um, be a bit envious from you, I'm hearing as well. Um, you might want to kind of like up your kind of like uh, protection maybe wear some sort of like evil eye amulet or something like that but even if you don't your guys really do have your back here your team is well aware of any energies that might be trying to sabotage this success that you have worked so hard for and i feel like for any of you who have been concerned about this who have been concerned about um energies or, or people who you know it might be giving you the evil eye because I feel like some of you do feel concerned about this and you are aware of this and if so this is a message for you from your team to say don't worry release and trust okay because you are going to thrive pile two okay you are going to thrive you have here the stag trust and thrive you have the lady enjoy growth and reap rewards you have the six of fire success public recognition you have the star okay which is wish fulfillment healing and you have the chariot and again that says public recognition okay you are going places all right you have the ace of earth here the ace of pentacles whatever it is it's going to bring you some sort of tangible rewards here whether this is some sort of stability um finances um something in your home life your career um yeah this is really really positive okay so we're going to get now some messages for what are your spirit team helping you with okay um yeah what are your spirit team helping you with so we're using the healing with angel oracle cards here so pile two spirit team what are you helping them with currently Pile two, spirit team. What are you helping them with currently, please? Oh, you want to take them? Yeah. Okay. Wow, we have music. What did I say? I said about music, didn't I? Yeah, music. They are giving you messages through music, pile two. That's just a, a confirmation right there. Um yeah we have two angels here playing an instrument okay um so for those of you who are wanting to achieve something within a music field you're wanting to be a successful musician or singer or something like that your your guides are helping you with this and for others of you um it's it's like i said receiving messages through music and also i feel um music listening to music helps you to flow and release and and just release all your emotions and release any trapped energies um it really helps you to uh, decompress i'm hearing wow we have guardian angel again pile one got this card <laughs> um these messages are just so beautiful you are protected it's like i said you know with this whole kind of like sabotage energy from anyone around you who you know might be uh, jealous of your success here you are protected from this what is meant for you cannot be taken away from you okay and this is a message that my guides have been giving me as well um recently very strongly and i feel like a lot of us have a strong mission right now and we are being encouraged to to go towards this mission and keep pushing forward um and it is divinely protected there is no one that is going to knock you off course with this okay um absolutely no one you are protected pile two oh okay we have truth and integrity so they're helping you pile two to stay on your path of truth and what i mean by that is to stay on mission okay to stay on soul mission so before we come here and also i'm being told 
whilst we are here in this incarnation, um, our higher self um, and work that we do in the astral, we can change our mission through our life, okay? So our higher self does have the power to say, um, we are needed in such and such an area. So I am moving our mission, we are moving our mission to this, okay? Um, so your spirit team are helping you to follow this path, okay? Follow this path of truth, of what it is that is true to your soul. I really hope that I have explained that in a way that makes sense. It's a really unusual message that's coming through right now. Um, but yeah, integrity, um, helping you with connections around you as well, helping to remove any connections that are not true, that are not integral, that don't have the best intentions for you. Um, they are helping you with that and they are protecting you with that. Whoa, amazing. We have nature. Okay, so your guides are really helping you. Um, I'm hearing come back to yourself, okay? So for some of you, um, you really do well when you are outdoors in nature. And we have this lady here um, who is very green, isn't she? You know, she's full of Gaia energy, earth energy. Um, your, your team are really helping you to ground yourself and bring you back down to earth in some respects. So for some of you, you might have been in your head a lot recently, or you might be someone who is in your head a lot and does struggle with overthinking, racing thoughts, wanting to do so much and, uh, right, I've done this, onto the next, I've done this, onto the next, that kind of energy. Um, and your team is really helping you to stay grounded, to come back to yourself, take moments of peace, um, and you might have been getting messages or signs of getting out in nature as well, kind of calling you to nature. Um, so, so listen to those, pay attention to those. Um, and we have on the bottom of the deck, serenity. So your guides are helping you to bring peace back into your life, to bring moments of serenity, um, just of peace of, you know, um, if things have been chaotic for you, um, your guides are really helping you to, yeah, like I was saying, come back down to earth, connect with nature. Um, I feel like your team are really wanting you to do that right now. Um, connect with animals, connect with Gaia, outdoors, meditation, all that kind of stuff. Um, your guides are really helping that you with that right now so like i said you might have been receiving messages or intuitive pulls to get outside um beautiful messages today pile two we're just going to finish off your reading with one final message from your spirit team what do they want to say to you right now a message of love please for pile two message of love for pile two message of love for pile two thank you Okay, what do we have here? We have, you can't please everyone, okay. And that says, when you're focused on living up to other people's standards, you aren't spending enough time raising your own. Some folks expect you to act a certain way and march to the beat of their boring drum. <laughs> they find safety in sameness, but you have beautiful music inside you. Music! <laughs> Your flair is meant to be shared. Don't shrink in. Don't shrink to fit in or get approval. Instead, dump your need to please and just be your magnificent self. Wow, pile two, that is a gorgeous message. And again, we have this this message of music that has come through in your reading multiple times now. Um, you have a beautiful song to sing, I'm hearing. A, a message to give, okay? Dance to the beat of your own drum, pile two. Um, don't let anyone sabotage your success and you won't and your, your spirit team won't as well. Um, yeah, spend some more time um, on yourself and raising raising your standards, okay? Um, you can't please everyone. 
beautiful message to finish off with. Pile 2, thank you so much for tuning in today. I, I also want to thank your spirit team for coming through with these beautiful messages today. Thank you for your time. Thank you for being here. Please give this reading a big thumbs up. It truly helps out the channel. Hit subscribe and ring that bell icon if you want to be notified of our future readings so that you don't miss out. Thank you again so much. I truly appreciate your beautiful energy. Take care of your lovely selves and we shall see you in our next reading. Bye. Hi Pile 3, welcome to your reading if you chose this beautiful skin agate crystal. This is your reading today for messages of love from your spirit team. So I will be channeling and bringing through messages today for you Pile 3 from your spirit team of guides, angels, ancestors, animals, elementals, whoever it is that is on your team pile three we will be bringing through some messages of love messages of guidance also what they love about you and what they are currently helping you with pile three so i want to take this time and this space to welcome in your spirit team to these messages and to this reading today and when i was setting up your space pile three i was shown an image from my guides for you um, and it was like it was like a copper bowl and it was full of like charms and trinkets so I feel like what this is saying is it could mean a couple of things it could mean literally you might have and you might resonate with a bowl of charms or a bowl of trinkets something like that and it could mean also that um, I'm being told like lucky charms i'm being given the word lucky 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 charms it's almost like you're going to have something open up and you're going to have lots of different options and different things to choose from um i'm feeling like seven of cups energy where you're going to have a lot of options on the table um but they're all going to be blessings in one form of another so i feel like you're going to be getting a lot of new opportunities coming through maybe um new energies um new gifts of some sort um but yeah that was really interesting so i just wanted to mention that before we start our reading today so i have already shuffled for you pile three and pulled some oracle cards off camera for you um we shall be pulling those going through those in a moment and discovering those together because I haven't yet seen these cards but we will be starting off your reading with the tarot okay and bringing through some messages from your spirit team of what they want you to know right now pile three okay so pile three spirit team what messages would you like them to know right now what would you like to say to them? What would you like to say to Pile 3? One more shuffle. What would you like to say to Pile 3? Thank you. What messages would you like to bring through for Pile 3 today? Thank you. Oh, we have Ten of Water, which is also known as the Ten of Cups. A contented and rewarding family life, your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. Amazing, beautiful. I love that, that's so gorgeous. Messages for Pearl Three, please. Messages for Pearl Three, please. Thank you. Okay, we have here Renewal. Archangel Jeremiah is coming through for you. This says, review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Yeah, interesting. What message do you have for Pearl Three, please? Thank you. We have Ace of Air. Brilliant new ideas and inspirations. Seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. Okay. What messages do you have for Pile 3, please? Oh, thank you. We have Seven of Fire, aka Seven of Wands. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. Okay, so I did also see the Emperor on the bottom of the deck before I shuffled. Um, 
So I feel like um, your spirit team are really encouraging you to step up and into your power in some way, pile three. Um, okay. Um, because I feel like you've got a new start coming, okay? There's something new, a, 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 ch a change in the wind I'm hearing, a turn of events that is going to bring some sort of new start, okay? And it's really interesting um, that I was getting that charm ball, okay? And I was hearing like multiple options um, and things going on for you. So I feel like you're gonna, might have a choice to make within a new start something that new is coming into your life into your world um new ideas that you might want to turn into business ventures ideas or even a hobby that might turn into something that you didn't expect in the best of ways here we do have the ten of cups um so if you are worrying about any uh, material or emotional needs um or things that might be going on in your life right now your your guides and your team are, are asking you to trust okay and uh, really let yourself um flow i'm hearing which is really interesting because i'm being shown a lot of water here like a flowing stream um so it's really trusting in the direction of your destiny okay that is powerful words okay um trust in the direction of your destiny okay whatever is meant for you cannot be taken away i think i said this in pile two as well um because there is something here that you you might need to defend yourself on here with this seven of fire um on the bottom of the deck we have the empress which is really interesting because i did see the emperor before um and this is archangel gabriel's coming through here and this says lavish abundance give birth to your dreams nurture yourself and others so i feel like there's an idea here that you have been ruminating on or um, an idea that you have put into action recently in the past or will be putting into action here birthing something new um within something creative something um um, laying solid foundations okay um laying i'm hearing a foundation for your future and your family okay your family's abundance i'm hearing um because the empress is an energy that can provide it can provide for her loved ones and for herself as well so um your guides and your team want you to know that they are helping you to step up into this energy of um, assertiveness as well and, and really um, going after what it is that you want and standing your ground with it okay so anyone who might not understand or agree um, with your choices that you are making as long as they are coming from your soul and as long as they are healthy for you here with this empress as long as they are giving birth to um, beautiful new things okay um, um, you are going to be protected with this and you are going to be given the courage to move forward and to overcome any obstacles that might stand in your way or might have recently stood in your way. Um, so anything that has you know had a bit of a challenging new beginning a challenging new start you might have been doubting yourself am I on the right path is this really meant for me um, you are going to overcome that, you know, you're going to have some sort of energy um, that's going to come out of, of nowhere almost and it's going to really help to push you forward. Okay, but this renewal card here is also known as the judgment card as well. So yeah, there's, there's some sort of like decision um, that you might be making and again i'm being drawn back to that charm ball okay so that you're gonna have to make a decision on something or you have recently made a decision on something um but they want you to know that whatever it is that you choose it will be right for you you will make the right choice so trust in yourself um try not to overthink something here with the ace of the ace of air um clarity is going to be coming through for you i feel like if you have been up in the air about making a decision, whether you're doing the right thing in your head a lot, clarity is going to come, okay? Um, and your angels and team are working with you um, to establish this 10 of water, this 10 of cups, and also to, to keep this 10 of cups energy, this 10 of water energy solidified within your reality, I'm hearing. 
Okay, so let's get a message for you from the Whispers of Love Oracle Pile 3 for what is it that your spirit team love about you so much? Um, so a little disclaimer here that I mentioned for the other piles. Our spirit team love absolutely everything about us, uh, whether it's seem seemingly positive or negative aspects. Um, they love absolutely everything about us because that makes us who we are, okay? Um, but we will be bringing through what they love. One of the things that Lele, that one of the things I got tongue tied. One of the things that they love about you, Pile Three. Okay, what do you love about Pile Three, my spirit team, please? Ooh, this card says consider your foundation look at how committed you are to love okay this is beautiful so can we see here how there's a house there and i'm pretty sure i just mentioned this to do with the empress card about creating a solid foundation for your family and those you love um this is something that your spirit team really love about you they love how loving you are because i can see here a couple there and then there's some animals okay so some of you are really loving towards animals you have a great connection with animals um and they really love that about you you have this softness to you but in an empo empowered way okay um you are by no means soft in a, a, in a way that might be deemed as weak no no you are strong pile three okay here with this house you know you have you have a strength to you a stability a solidness to you um deep within your soul pile three um and your spirit team love that you like to create foundations. You like to build from the ground up, I'm hearing, um, and really work at um, stabilizing things. Um, they love your commitment to what it is that you love, to who it is that you love. Um, but they also wanna say with this pile three to not forget about yourself, okay? Um, it's amazing that you give to other people. I feel like with all these candles here in this picture, I feel like you are very much the light of people's life. Um, you light people up, um, but your spirit team are also saying, don't forget about you. Don't forget to, to light you up, you know, when you need it, um, to be a beacon of light for yourself as well. Beautiful. Okay, so let's um get into your oracle cards now that i pulled for you off camera so we have here archangel samael that says choose harmonious responses act with wisdom and grace okay we have oh sorry we have winter take care of your needs yes exactly what i was just saying okay what other messages of love do we have from your spirit team we have star ancestor follow the voice of your soul wow amazing we have actually two cards come through for you from the animal guide deck we have rhinoceros be strong and courageous. And that's Archangel Sandalfall and Archangel Roquiel coming through for you there, pile three. We also have your bonus card. We have Dog, Archangel Zariel coming through. Be disciplined in your home and community life. Yes, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. We were just talking about that house and that home energy, that stability energy that you hold within your soul, pile three. Um, yeah, your guides are the messages of love that they are bringing through for you today, Pile 3. Um, it's so interesting. I'm really being drawn to this rhinoceros here, first and foremost here. And the rhinoceros is an animal who is very strong, very determined. You wouldn't mess with the rhinoceros, you know. If there was a rhinoceros coming towards you, you'd go in the opposite direction. <laughs> Especially if they were like tramp like tramp stampeding towards you you know you can't mess with those horns and it's like with the seven of fire here defend your beliefs and decisions and stand your ground 
be strong and courageous here. Your guys are telling you that you have this innate power within you to be strong, to be courageous, to be able to stand up for what you believe in, to be able to stand for your convictions, to be able to follow your truth okay to follow the voice of your soul whatever it is that is calling you you have this strength within you pile three okay um and it's like your guides really want you to embody that so any energies that are coming towards you this might be from other people or just um energies of seemingly bad luck things going wrong one after another people putting spanners in the works throwing trying to throw you off your path your guides are saying no do not accept it okay um and i feel like they're really giving you that strength in, in, to step up into that energy that you do hold within you you do have that energy within you remember i was saying of structure stability um laying fat solid foundations okay um this is within you and your spirit team want you to continue with this um and if you have forgotten about this or you might be feeling um like you're not capable of this your guides are here and your team is here to remind you that you are okay be disciplined in your home and community life so whatever it is that is needing your attention right now it's time to focus on what is truly important okay um i feel like you might have a lot of energies like vying for your attention um i'm, I'm getting a bit of like chaotic energy um and your guides are really wanting to come back to you, to come back to your soul, to come back to your innate knowing, your innate wisdom here. And really set some discipline with yourself in terms of planning your steps, but also discipline with others around you who might want to be taking advantage of your good nature and your good soul, okay? Um, yeah, with this winter card, take care of your needs. It's time to put yourself first, basically, your, your spirit team are saying. Put yourself first, okay? Pour into your own cup, I'm hearing. And it says here with Archangel Samael, choose harmonious responses, act with wisdom and grace. So I feel like you might have been getting some energies or you may be get faced with some energies here. Um, challenges that might want to push your buttons in a way, might make you feel frustrated, might want to make you react, okay? Um, but you know, your, your team is wanting you to take a breath, take a moment, center yourself and choose harmony okay choose harmony because at the essence of your soul is harmony it's love and um your guides want you to choose that in every area of your life okay the empress she doesn't need to stand up and shout she doesn't need to um get out a sword or anything like that because she's the empress you know she 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 just has it with her energy you know she all she needs to do is just sit there and people just know look how this empress here is just gold she's just golden she's just shining gold and it's like you exude this energy of uh, royalness almost i'm hearing you know, you have a birthright for lavish ab abundance, okay? So your guides are giving you uh, the go-ahead to go ahead with your ideas, your inspirations, um, nurture yourself, okay, as much as you nurture other people. Okay, that's a beautiful message coming through. Let's see what your spirit team are helping you with right now, pile three. We're gonna use the healing with the angel oracle cards. For this let's do that one more time didn't really work out did it what are you helping pile three with right now what are you helping pile three with please oh thank you okay we have here signs okay so your spirit team are giving you signs and synchronicities they're really reaching out to you wanting to bring messages to you um so you can get these in all sorts of forms and i'm hearing animals because i placed that under the dog one the dog card there so if you have pets i feel like um let's try and listen to your pets like the way they're communicating to you 
Are they trying to get your attention when certain words are being spoken on the TV or certain songs that you might be listening to? Um, are they trying to get your attention? Um, there's some sort of signs with that, so try and pay attention to that. I've just noticed that your candle's gone out. I'll be right back. I just want to relight it. Okay, sorry about that. I just noticed you, the candle was going out. I didn't want that to go out for you. Um, so yeah, look out for signs and synchronicities. Like I was saying, this could be your animals trying to get your attention when certain songs are playing or something's been spoken on the TV. Um, could be angel numbers, um, certain animals that you keep seeing. Um, just look into the signs. They're trying to communicate with you. We also have here music, beautiful. I think it was pile two that got this message as well. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was just saying. <laughs> yeah, like music, like like I was saying, the animal, your animals might alert you to, to when songs are playing. Um, but even if you don't have animals, this also applies. Um, pay attention to the songs that come on, um, lyrics, um, anything that, um, gets your attention and you think it, it just speaks to you you know it speaks to your soul um that is a message for you so don't doubt it we have retreat so your spirit team are helping you with taking time out okay i feel like you need to have a bit of rest you might have been working hard um or been dealing with a lot of energies burnout um or just needing some time to yourself getting away from the hustle and bustle um busyness jobs family children whatever it is that suits your situation um i feel like i was saying a lot of people are vying for your attention um and vying for your energy but your guys and your team are really helping you to try and take some time out um, and retreat from that um, and I'm even hearing as well for some of you you might have had people that have gone from your life recently um, or been removed for whatever reason um, or they might have just disappeared and I'm being told to tell you that that was your spirit team you know um, removing these people from your life um, because for one reason or another they might not they they weren't serving you any longer what are you helping pile three with please what are you helping pile three with thank you dreams yeah so they're helping you to follow your dreams i'm hearing to go after what it is that you love to create your to create your success to create your ultimate happiness what is it that you want from your life do you want a family do you want a home do you want um to have a successful craft business or whatever it is for you your your spirit team are helping you to go for that to um to step into that energy to reap those rewards to um claim what is yours i'm hearing and also pay attention to your dreams as well because i feel like you're getting signs and messages through your dreams as well so take note of those one more message please what are you helping pile three with right now thank you oh gosh i've got two that's fine we'll take it yeah we have new beginnings there what was i saying here with the ace of air and some sort of new beginning happening your your spirit team are helping you with new beginnings so whatever it is that's coming into your life um any new starts any new this could be within a relationship a new beginning within a relationship a new beginning within a job a new beginning with whatever it is that is that suits you pile three your guys are helping you with this so if you're having a challenging beginning here your, your, your spirit team are helping you, okay? Um, so just relax. Um, your spirit has your back. We have focus that came out as well for you. So your, your spirit team are helping you with focus. They're helping you to stay on track. Um, did we have something else about focus here? Um, we had be disciplined. That's kind of like similar yeah they're helping you to stay focused on on your outcome that you want your ultimate happy outcome okay they're helping you stay focused on this ten of water on this ten of cups this 
rewarding family life, this contentment, your emotional and material needs being met, um, trustworthy relationships, they're, ha they're helping you to stay focused on all the good um, and trying to kind of like avoid you from getting stuck in anything negative um, and any negative energies that might be around you. Beautiful messages here, Pile 3. Let's just finish off your reading, Pile 3, with one final message of love from your spirit team. Can we have one final message of love, please? Thank you. Oh, wow. We have here, something bigger is on the way. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. And that says, allow your vision to expand and be open to the form it takes. You may discover that, that sorry, you may discover that you were dreaming too small or that what seemed like an obstacle is actually pointing you in a better direction. The universe always has your back. Yes, amazing. So don't let yourself dream too small pile three let yourself dream big and whatever obstacles that might come your way um your spirit team are wanting you to know that they are helping you with this they are going to help you to overcome this um and go on this beautiful new start that you have coming through through for you pile three wow this has been incredible i just want to take this time to thank your spirit team for coming through today with these beautiful messages and thank you to you pile three as well please please give this video a big thumbs up it truly helps out the channel hit subscribe if you would like to become a part of the family we would love to have you here thank you so much for tuning in today and for blessing me with your wonderful energy take care of your lovely selves and we'll see you in our next reading. Bye.